Today I'm going to talk about the half and half not seasons for episode 17. If you know me or you're new to my channel, I do not do step by step when it comes to the half and a half knots. I like to just talk about the show and just give you a review from that. Um, I'm still on the high from last week of Jeffrey stabbing his mama. But do y'all know a pattern that Jeffrey has with knives? He has a problem with knives and then plays the victim and guilty party like, boy, you like playing with knives. You stabbed up Quincy and now you stabbed up your mama. I'm just saying, there's a pattern. So, yeah, he's stabbing up his mama and he, well, he stabbed her. And she over there falls back like, I can't believe this motherfucker stabbed me. And he just walks out. I'm like, and then everybody's like stuck and shot. So Catherine runs up to Veronica or whatever. <laughs> and she like called, tell Hannah to call 911. And Hannah like, okay. But Hannah, you could tell all in Hannah's face that she was so happy that this happened. Um, you can tell that Hannah didn't want to call the police or just at least wanted to just make her suffer a little bit. Christian Hannah, just saying. Um, but yeah, so she calls the people and the 911 is asking her all these questions like, is the perpetrator in the house and yada, yada, yada. And she making it seem like it's an accident. She like, it's an accident. Veronica in the background screaming like, it's not an accident. It wasn't an accident. It was... <laughs> Um, so the lady kept trying to ask questions, and H Hannah was over talking Veronica because she didn't want the 911 lady to know it was Jeffrey, because, bitch, she understood, like we all did, why Jeffrey did what he did. So, <laughs> the lady, like, who was it? So, you hear Veronica screaming about who it was, what he had on, what his height built, all that. I mean, she didn't give two fucks about her son. At that moment, like, get his ass, he stabbed me. And then in a way, I understand, like, bitch, no, I don't give a fuck about that being my son. The motherfucker stabbed me in my chest. But y'all know she ain't got no heart, so it doesn't matter. Um, So she just going off about Hannah not calling the police, not believing that Hannah called the police. And, I mean, Hannah, she talking shit to Hannah. Hannah, like, do you want me to push the knife in even further, like... You really want to talk shit? And so she started talking about the Christian in Hannah. And I'm with her. Like, Hannah picks and chews when she wants to be a Christian. Hannah says that she never lies. And I'm like, okay, maybe you didn't lie. But you show, well, no, bitch, stop saying you didn't lie. Bitch, you ain't tell your son who his daddy was. You like all your son life about who his daddy was. Stop saying you don't fucking lie. Oh, the new reform. The Christian Hannah. Mm. Bitch, you was a Christian when you kept lying to him. You Christian when you lied to him when he got out the goddamn hospital. Like, girl, stop saying you don't lie. Own up to it. I, you, at least you said that you know you wasn't perfect. Can you please own up that you do lie? Don't, don't, don't let that come out your mouth when we know you do. So... Um, that shit back and forth with Veronica and Hannah was hilarious to me because Hannah is still mad that Veronica is messing with Benny, not knowing Benny had already told her they got into it and he said he don't want to mess with her no more, but Hannah still feels some kind of way about her sleeping with him, so... Hannah is all about stay your ass away from my damn son. Like, I don't care about you and your son. I don't care about this knife in your chest. Stay away from my son. Or whatever. So, let's fast forward to the uh, nine, the ambulance coming. So, they finally come after a million years. Like, bitch, they don't care if you black, white, rich, poor. They, I don't know what. You know, they in Georgia, right? Maybe it's the traffic. I'm just saying. After going out there, it may be the traffic that it took so long. But, um, so the ambulance get there, and they are over there saying something about, um, how did she get, you know, let's check her out or whatever. And that's when she said that her son stabbed her, and they like, well, we can't touch her till the police get here because if the person is still in the house, and they like, well, the person ain't in the house, so go on and check her out. 
Hannah kept telling the 911 operator that it wasn't that serious. Maybe she just needed a band-aid or something. But no, she over there laying like she about to die. It's just going fucking crazy. So, um, when the ambulance get there to check her out, they like, oh, they checking her and shit. And they like, oh, well, the implant saved it. I ain't got no implant. I fell out laughing. I was like, bitch, really? Really? I was like, Hannah, finally told the truth on that one. Bitch, it wasn't that serious. It was a little paranite bite. Paranite, so bitch, please. Um, so, then, like, she still was mad about him stabbing her. And they like, well, let's get you up and take you, transport you or whatever. And she was like, I can't get up. And the um, EMT just pulled the damn knife out of her chest. Like, bitch, can you get up now? I, I'm I'm over there like Hannah cracking up like this bitch she played too much that's all I kept saying like you play too damn much <laughs> so <laughs> they get her out the house Hannah is rolling Hannah is cracking up and I'm laughing with Hannah like this bitch is off the chain this bitch Got an implant. First, the bitch lied about her hair. Now you want to lie about your damn um, implants. Like, girl, stop. You from the hood. Just accept it. Like, oh, my God. She gets on my fucking nerves being so uppity. So, Catherine is still looking at Hannah like, bitch, for real. So, but Hannah is rolling like, bitch, this bitch just lied. Just your friend. This bitch just lied. Like, Really? And Hannah got mad and put out, I mean, Catherine got mad and put out Hannah and told her to go home because she was like, my son's still dead. Like, this, this still a serious matter. All this bullshit y'all doing over here and I'm over here grieving for my motherfucking son for real. But I, and I felt bad for Catherine, but I was like, Catherine, you know you want to fucking laugh because, bitch, I'm over here laughing. So you know you want to laugh at your fake ass friend. But okay, whatever. Um, Jim and David talk. He's so sorry. This happened to his son. Jim can't believe it. Can you please go identify his body? We need to talk to Jennifer. No, you can't talk to Jennifer. She's um doing your case, so you can't talk to her. Okay, yada, yada, yada. So, um, they just was crying about it. And Jim was telling David, go ch identify why his body don't come back until he identified the body. Because in until he could tell him that it's a mistake, it ain't his damn son, yada, yada, yada. David goes to Jennifer. Jennifer like, I don't give a damn what y'all saying. Like, I'm still going to prosecute him. Like, I no. Like, you can't see the body. We go um investigate because it's something up with this family. Um, then she says something about um Amanda's suicide wasn't really a suicide. She was murdered because of all of the splatter that was on the wall and how um the medical examiner, the first medical examiner and the first cop on call or whatever has said that what it looked like, but then. The crier's friend was a new medical examiner, said changed it or something like that. So, it looked like Amanda was murdered. I didn't see that shit coming. I promise I did not see that coming. Up because we saw this bitch playing with the gun, going back and forth, going crazy. I promise every time I think about her running from room to room, I think about when Ashley used to um, imitate her. And it used to be so hilarious. So, yeah. Um, I was just really shocked about her saying that, but like I said, she's going to still go against Jim and the whole Cryer family and all of them or whatever. Then, um, she even allowed, they gave David permission to go identify why his body gave him, like, the room number and all that of where he can go. So, David goes to the room, and they still got the body laying there because, like they said, they trying to make sure it wasn't foul play because of Amanda. So, he like, okay, turn his body over. I'm just thinking the way everything was going, I'm thinking, like, maybe they set this up. He should have been witness protection, whoop, whoop, whatever. Because um, the way they was taking so long to move the body. 
So then um, David like turned his body over. I'm just like, okay, maybe he's gonna turn his body over, and that really wasn't why. And maybe it was, you know, they gonna set us up like we didn't see what we thought we saw. <laughs> but it was Wyatt, and so David was like, he's warm, like you know what I'm saying, like he's still breathing. And I'm sitting there like, you some stupid ass fucking DA first of all, cause you saw, you checked, and you left. Um, security of the hotel, y'all fucking stupid. The manager of the hotel, fucking stupid. Hold on. So, I'm like, everybody fucking stupid. So, Wyatt ain't dead. Y'all know I was like, damn, Wyatt dead to the bed. The motherfucker ain't been moving. They ain't been moving for a long ass time. We got epilepsy. I don't know. But, I'm just like, okay, he alive, whatever. Meanwhile, while David is over there trying to do everything for Jim... Benny and Mitch's ass is waiting on him, and um, they talking about getting him. I tuned them out, because I was sitting there like, Benny's stupid. Y'all know how I feel about Benny. Benny's fucking stupid. Um, through all of this, Jeffrey. Making sure I got everything out the way. Her implants, Catherine. Put out Hannah David. Go check on why Hannah cursed out. Okay. Yeah. Um, Jeffrey, 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 Jeffrey. He's a fucking idiot as dude. Like, okay, he left his mama from getting stabbed and he goes back to his hotel room. Why the fuck you go right back to your hotel knowing your mama know where you at? But okay, he freaking out. He having all these memories in his head. I'm thinking like, oh, this motherfucker fit off himself. Oh my God, another murder. Now his mama gonna have to live with that shit. Whatever. But no, that ain't what happened. He going crazy. He calls uh, Candace and let Candace know that his mom, um, he might have killed his mama. <laughs> Candace like, huh? Like, what the hell? So he like, yeah, she was saying all this stuff. But Candace's whole thing is making sure that uh, she wasn't going to tell on them about the whole Quincy situation. That's all she worried about. But he was like, no, it wasn't about that. It was some other stuff that she was saying that was pissing me off and saying and all this kind of stuff. You know, talking about him being gay. So, um... She like, okay, will you stay there, stay at the hotel, I'll be there in an hour. I'm like, bitch, what part of Georgia you in that it would take an hour to get to him? Like, girl, you hear your best friend, your homeboy, whatever, say he just killed his mama. You know he already killed somebody else. You know he's, like, on the edge. And you gonna tell him, oh, I gotta make a stop first? We never saw it. Did we ever see that stop? I don't know. But... You got to make a stop first, for real, Candace. Like, no, you should have stopped whatever you did, made a U-turn, and went and saw about that boy. But she was like, no, um, go switch rooms. I'm going to put this room under her friend Erica's name. I think that's her name, yeah. And you go stay there, and you wait there until I get there. And I'm like, okay, cool. At least if the police come, they're not going to go to his room. You know, I mean, if they go to his room, then he's not going to be there. So, that's cool. But, bitch, they still got cameras. Whatever. Um, but I'm like, okay, cool. She over there. She just tripping. He told her that Wyatt was dead. She like, what the fuck? is like, what is going on? So, you know, they everybody, because they don't be in each other's world. So, they wouldn't know that all these people have died. She didn't know. I don't think she knew about Maggie. No, he had told her about Maggie the last episode. But I'm like, everybody fucking died around here. So, whatever. Um, then after he gets off the phone with her, she calls Benny to tell Benny about what's going on. Benny is like, what the hell is going on? He's shocked. Then he say, well, go check on, because he was like, I stabbed her in front of your mama and I stabbed her in front of Catherine. So they got to figure out if she did. So Cass Candace called Benny, tell Benny that Veronica got stabbed. He like, if she did, she was like, I hope so. I said, me too. But, you know. It ain't happening. So, Benny um, calls his mama. to Because he was like, mama not. Mama mad at me. She's not going to tell me nothing. Especially when it comes to Miss Veronica. It's not going to happen. So, he calls Hannah. Hannah cusses his ass out. Because Hannah's like, what do you want? You all of a sudden calling me like, I'm not stupid. What do you want? And he was trying to play stupid. And he ended up telling her like at the end. Because she was about to hang up in his fucking face. Because she saw that the police number was pulling up. 
So she hung up and he was like, wait, did Veronica get stabbed? She really was mad and hung up on that fool. And that's when it ended where Veronica was, um, I mean, Hannah was, Jennifer and them had, came to Catherine's house. And Hannah had took them in the house to tell her, I guess, about Wyatt. But before I end this, Jeffrey dumbass, he calls the cop dude. Like, you need to get over here. The dude is in the bed with his wife, sleep. He like, you need to get over here. I need to talk to you. I need you. Yada, yada, yada. So the dude goes over there. And Jeffrey tells every fucking thing. First, he like, who am I talking to? The cop or the dude that I had handcuffed? And homeboy's like, we don't talk about that. And he was like, well, who am I talking to? Because before I confess all my damn sins, I need to know who I'm talking to. I said, idiot, you're not talking to a lawyer. That's for damn sure. So why the fuck are you talking too much? But okay, Jeffrey, you always fucking talking too much. Um, so, I'm just hoping this play out the way I want it to, and I'll tell y'all in a minute. But, yeah, so he telling Jeffrey, uh, I mean, Jeffrey telling the cop all this stuff about how he stabbed his mama, how he think he gonna be arrested, how, uh, he think he got a warrant. So, the cop checks and see if he had a warrant for his arrest, and it was clear. Then, you know, the cop was like, um, I got you, and he's like, don't worry about it. Like, just, like, consoling Jeffrey. Because he really, I think the cop really likes Jeffrey, but he has to put up this facade that, you know, he's not gay or whatever and he loves his wife. But I'm hoping that this plays out where, oh, before I go, Jeffrey, old punk ass was like, okay, now I got to take you to Candace's house. He like, why? He was like, because I got to show you something. I'm like, you, I was so mad. I was so done. I was so fucking mad. Okay, now Candace, it's time for you to off Jeffrey. Period. I'm so mad that he would go and take a cop because he like him and he dicking him down that he would go tell that y'all got a body in the backyard. I was so fucking mad. But like I said, I'm hoping it goes down where Jeffrey has slept with this cop and he told this cop all this stuff. And he is going to be able to blackmail the cop of helping him or whatever he has to do with either telling his wife or... Or either going to his wife like, look, you either going to drop all these charges or it's going to be put out there that I'm fucking your husband. I hope Jeffrey really has a plan of him running his mouth to this cop or either I want him off. Like, I want him to get stabbed with his goddamn mama. Like, I'm not, I don't understand why people just be talking so much for no fucking reason. No, no. He talked too fucking much. He irritates me and I hate snitches. Like, I'm really from the hood with that one. I am, I, I do not like snitches. I, I beat up. My kids, if they start snitching on each other, like, no, don't talk too much. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm. he was, he really made me mad when he's going to, you're going to tell a cop of all fucking people because you so grieving about your fucking wife ass wife, like what your mama say, boy, shut your ass, boy. I'm just saying, that's my review for the half and a half knot season four, episode 17. I hope that you guys not mad that this is late, but. I was out last night with my sister. Blame her. Not my twin sister. My other sister. Blame her. Um, I'll talk to y'all. Make sure y'all follow me on all, everything social media by the ghetto of U-T-H-A, not T-H-E. And I will talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.